Now we're walking Scarlet. Hi, girl. Hi. Hi, girl. Hi, girl. Hi, girl. Hi, girl. <laughs> So, um, for those of you who don't know, um, Scarlett actually came with Freya. They were kennel mates. Um, they were both shaking at the kennel in Stanislaus. So we pulled both of them. And so we were told that Scarlett and Freya were a bonded pair. So we actually did put them in one foster home, the foster home that Freya was in. Um, but Scarlett didn't do well there at all. She wasn't eating. And like, I know it's happy. It's it's happy it's normal for a dog to not eat or eat a little bit the first you know two to three days um at a new environment a new home but scarlet was really declining um in that foster home so i decided to take her with me and foster her myself um because she's also really slow to trust people um, we do think that she might have been abused because she does wince, you know, um, like scarily when you go close to her or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, so she trusts people really slowly, but she took, she took in with me like pretty much instantly. Um, she was like jumping up on me in a good way, smiling, trying to lick me, um, didn't growl at me at all didn't show her teeth for me at all like never i could look at her i can look in her eyes and she's totally fine actually i do that all the time she cuddles with me so yeah so i took her in as a foster um before you know well freya and her puppies pregnant freya back then was going to um another foster that we ended up taking her from so yeah and so when scarlet scarlet when Scarlett was in the other foster, she really didn't do well with both, um, the wife and the husband. Um, but when she's with me, when she sees other females, like she doesn't warm up that easily, but like she also doesn't try to bite unless she feels threatened, unless she feels like you're gonna like, I don't know, like pick her up or something. Um, she definitely does not like men though. Um, it took her like three weeks for her to just sniff my husband's hands. So yeah so i'm basically her caretaker 24 7 and she sleeps in her crate with me and my husband um in our room i mean like me and my husband don't sleep in the crate but she sleeps in the crate in our room if that makes sense <laughs> um and our own dog sleeps in our room as well although he's not crated um because we never crate train our own dog we should though we're gonna start doing that as well but yeah it's got it she did pee so that's good so now i'm just gonna see if she wants to walk some more so she can poop she doesn't really like walks that much um i'm not really sure what happened the first week that we had her she seemed to love walking and then we had to get her to a vacation foster um because we had a our former foster dog in our house and she's a big dog um but then so we had her at a vacation foster for a week and then when we got her back she doesn't seem to like to want to walk anymore so I'm not really sure. Um, her paws, when we got her back from the vacation foster, her paws were um, peeling um, because it had been hot that week. It had been really hot that week. And so she was probably like walking around the pavement um, and probably and pretty sure the pav the hot pavement like irritated her, her paw pads. And so her paw pads were peeling, but I put like some Vaseline on it. I put a lot of Vaseline on it like multiple times a day. And so now her paws are totally fine. Um, they're still a little bit rough, but not as rough as they were when she came out of the shelter and definitely not peeling anymore. And also um, her, <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, Scott. Like I see how she kind of like, yeah, that's what she does when someone gets close. Um, so her fur was very like rough and kind of hard when we first got her um but i put a lot of um dog cream lotion like lotion that's basically safe for dog and has my it has honey in it manuka honey um i bought it from a pet store so it's safe for dogs and now it's really soft um almost velvet not quite but it's really soft as if she was a puppy almost um or as if she was a young do adult dog <laughs> so yeah now it's like so nice and i am actually allergic to her fur i don't know what it is about her and freya's fur um but i get rashes i don't have it now because i haven't carried her but when i carry both of them if their fur gets on my arm i get rashes on my arm but they go away in like a few minutes so it's not a big deal but yeah it's really weird i've never 
experience that with any dog before. Uh, my own dog is a Chihuahua mix too, and I definitely don't have those rashes with my own dog. But yeah, hi Scarlett, do you wanna walk some more?